Radio by Nikki Romero. Protocol Radio, brought to you live from the Instigate Studios here in the Netherlands. We kicked off today's show with Tim van Wert, Icarus, from his brand new EP on Protocol Recordings. And what else do we have? Some special stuff for you, ADE is going on. New tracks by Thomas Nan, Sister Cap and many more. The Protocol Spotlight is a new song by myself, Nicky Romero and... Live Behind the Decks, all the way from France, Almero, get ready. But first... This one, of course, is for the Protocol ADE EP, Solar. And one of my favorite tracks right now, Lose Control. This is Protocol Radio. Get ready.
Romero. Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Fed Legrand. Hi, this is Lost Frequencies. Hey, this is Corey James. Hi, this is John Christian. Hi, everyone. This is Mosey Man on Protocol Radio. Hey guys, this is Tiesto, and you're listening to Nicky Romero on Protocol Radio. Had an apartment in the West End, you and I were best friends, making love on the weekend, every day was a weekend, yeah. 
You were scared of airplanes, but you wanna go to cool places. So you put on a brave face, held my hand, said you felt safe. I know you like your own time. You know I like to share mine. Maybe there's a hard line. I never would've thought that I'd be standing here confused, watching while I lose everything I thought I knew. There's so many things about you I remember. Your favorite pair of jeans, your dad's old sweater. Listen to Protocol Radio. And you just heard uh, Thomas Nan, Andrew Allen, did I ever. A funny uh, change between the chords there, between minor and major going on. You also listen to uh, Jeffrey Sotorius and Timo Hendricks featuring uh, Lux, The Afterlife. Of course, their brand new release. And uh, stay tuned because in Behind the Deck Sunday, we got Al Mero and he is ready here in the studio to uh, to join, join the vibe of Protocol Radio. But first, first we got something special because we got the re-rave you news flash, not so we rave you and not so news flash, but still, let's go. <laughs> Protocol Radio, we rave you news flash. Oh yeah. And even though it's not the real news flash, still I have Lisa right next to me. How are you? I'm so excited that finally it's ADE. We can party. And, and it's just going, you know, we're, it we're going, going to do off. ADE, it's going off. Are you going to do something with ADE? Uh, yes, definitely. Of course, I'm going to visit you at Nicky Romero and That's Friends. That's great. Yeah, I'm Are going you bringing any friends? Yeah, I'm going to bring a, bring a friend. One of my girlfriends is coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and I'm going to the Dutch Dance Quiz, uh, going to a few festivals. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot. And you, what are your plans for ADE? Well, first and foremost, I have uh, we have our own show on Thursday mm-hmm. at the Escape uh, Venue, which is one of my favorite clubs in, in Amsterdam. Uh, the Protocol Recordings Label Night, the annual label night that we yeah. have every year for the last eight years. Uh, super thankful that I could host it all the time at the Milky Way, the Melkweg, which yeah. to me is one of the, the legendary venues also. Um, but this year, because of the restrictions, we also wanted to try new things. And I think that Escape offered us an amazing place uh, to host the Protocol Recordings Label Show this time. So I'm going to do that. I have a few friends that I'm going to hop some shows with mm-hmm. uh, of the team. You know, like uh, I have Yorick always with me. I have Niels with me. I have Raul with me. So it's going to be a really nice little crew that we're going to go like, yeah. you know, from place to place to place. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> that sounds so awesome. And uh, I think other than that, uh, we have some, uh, you know, we have some things that we always do with AD. There's going to be some photos in Amsterdam, Rembrandt yeah. Plein, um, And it's it's the vibe. It feels like autumn is starting, if you know what yeah. I mean. You know, yeah. That's the AD. But I don't have the actual ADE vibe that I normally have. And that's because now we have like the time label that 
after 12, it's finished because of the exactly. COVID restrictions. Exactly. Yeah. Everything is finished after 12, so we have to host the show between 6 p.m. and 12. Uh, but still, I'm thankful that we can do something because for the same reason, we might actually not be able to do anything. Yeah, you know? so and now you can lucky. do something. So just thinking about ADE, what is your best memory of, of all the ADEs you've had? Um, I think the best memory I have would be maybe the first one I've done in Jimmy Who and that's just really? yeah because David Guetta came by and it was a special year it was my first ever label show um, and he joined me on that one I think it was 2013 all of my friends came by and that was a big one for me wow. so yeah, I would say that one for sure yeah. nice. and all the actual years at Milky Way that I have friends I had friends over like Armin van Buren Tiesto Martin Garrix was actually warming up in 2014 mm -hmm. uh, it, it's something that you cannot think of right now but he warmed up the room uh, wow. Milky Way and Tiesto and me came by to you know to party with him during his uh, set in that night uh, that's just legendary memories um, but yeah we had Armin van Buren Showtag Dimitri Vega like Mike, Timmy Trumpet, wow. Hat Hunters, um, Armin, like I said, Martin himself, W and W, uh, Wild Styles. We had Showtech. I already mentioned. I think in the middle of It's Sunray so cool. So like many. there are so many names. Sunray and Ryan. Sunray and Ryan oh, is yeah. Fetty Legrand. And Sunray and Ryan might also be around this time, and we're working on something with them. So that's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. So I'm just asking, like, uh, of course, in Miami you have a uh, Winter Music Conference, sure. and in Amsterdam you have ADE. What's the difference, do you think? There is one major difference, and I think uh, WMC is a lot about pool parties, mm -hmm. and everybody's going to Ultra, which is one of the biggest yeah. festivals in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think with ADE, it's really about the conference also. The conferences, the master classes, yeah. something that we have to skip this this year because of COVID, but that really is something that we have that we can offer. I think here in Europe, as we try to educate people a lot, the young producers come by with their demos, and yeah. I was one of them ten years ago. So that is something I Insane. think is a difference. For the best pool parties, you gotta go to Miami. For the rest, go to Amsterdam. Yes. Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you. It's time for the Protocol Spotlight, and this week I got a track by myself, Nicky Romero, and the groovy Love Me Better. A great opener in my sets, and the first time here on radio. Protocol Radio. Protocol Spotlight.
So listen to Protocol Radio. And you just heard Martin Garrix, Julian Jordan, Tiny, Tempa, Diamonds. He sent me this a while ago, I think on the plane towards the US and I started playing it. I think it's one of the first he told me, you're the only one who has it. <laughs> and I'm happy it's finally out there. What an amazing record. Big up to the boys. You also listen to Scissor Scat Belong to Me, which you can also find on the Protocol ADE EP. And it's time to uh, get to the guests in the studio today. He came all the way from France and he's really, really here with us. I'm playing a lot of his records in my live sets these days, so I think it's time to announce him. Behind the decks. 
He is here all the way from France. Everybody make some noise in the studio. Almero in the building. Yeah. How are you, buddy? Thanks. Yeah, ça I'm va? great. Yeah, ça va. <laughs> Très bien. Merci. <laughs> um, how are you these days? Pretty great. First ADE for me. So first time nice. in Amsterdam. So Welcome to Amsterdam. Yeah. And I'm enjoying the time there and thanks for having me. So how do you like what is your first impression of Amsterdam? Um pretty multicultural, pretty peaceful in a way. Peaceful. Yeah, a lot of bikes. That's true. <laughs> Normal. That's very true. A uh, lot of water as well. Nick M- doesn't think Amsterdam is that peaceful. I don't think it's that peaceful. <laughs> Most of the bikes is probably Lisa getting her groceries and her friends. Um, yes, true. But yeah, you're right. It's very. No, I think there's a lot of like uh, trains, trams, uh, whatever, yeah. bicycles, cars all the time. I always feel a little bit like you know stressed when I'm in Amsterdam. I'm like. Every time I can hit a bike or I can hit someone that just crosses the road, that's how I feel. But when you look at the canals and the beautiful houses, you're like, oh my God, Amsterdam's amazing. It's true. Yeah. But I come no, from Paris, beautiful. so this is why. Ah, yeah. Uh, it really, course. no, it's it's really beautiful. I don't really want to do anything bad about Amsterdam. I even have a tattoo of Amsterdam, so you know, yeah. I can't. Uh, yeah, you didn't know? Nice. Oh. Yeah, I saw it on your Instagram. But yeah, so no, no, I really <laughs> love Amsterdam, but sometimes it can be a little bit much. So it's your first time ADE. What are your ADE plans this year? Uh, going to the 1001 tracklist party tomorrow and nice. of course the protocol party and after I don't still don't know so I mean we would love to have you at the protocol party so I'm happy that you're that you're gonna be there <laughs> I will be there so <laughs> yeah that's awesome man and um, what do you think what do you think about the, um, the dance industry in general after COVID what do you think did anything change um, I think regarding the, the styles, uh, it's less harder. Right now, it's more down tempo a bit. That's it's true. more a bit more melodic, so it's great on that way. But we have a, a comeback of the techno scene as well. Yeah. yeah. But you used to do a little bit more of progressive house, no? Yeah, back in the days. Uh, but my style is evolved, and I I did a lot of things. So tech house, electro house, and progressive house. Are and you're well. doing really great because I really love your songs. I'm a big big supporter Thanks. of the sound that you do. And I think the decks are yours. I'm gonna play a donut, and after the donut, feel free to start one more time. Everybody in the studio, all marrow in the you. building. Everybody make some noise. <laughs> We'll 
Behind the Decks. Hi there. This is Protocol Radio.
Hi, this is Lost Frequency. Hey, this is Corey James. Hi, this is John Christian. Hi, everyone, this is Mosey Man on Protocol Radio. You are listening to a guest mix by on Protocol Radio.
his eyes These shadows hide Wild eyes start to shine Feels like paradise
some serious vibes here in the studio. Almero in the building. Everybody in the studio, make some noise. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. Thank How you. was your set on Protocol Radio for the first time? Um, a bit of pressure, but it was pretty okay, pretty nice. Thanks for having me. We uh, didn't hear anything fun. that made you nervous at all. No. Oh, it was great. Um, yeah, 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 it did great. Yeah. Only Almiro's music here. Some ideas, as you can recognize. And I then. love the sound that you do, man. I'm so happy that you Thanks. came over to Protocol Radio and to the studios. And thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I really hope to see you Thursday on the, the label night of Protocol Recordings For at sure. Escape, uh, Escape. And guys, you can get your tickets. Don't forget, Protocol Recordings website. I hope to see you there. Amira, thank you so much. Thank you. Next week, we'll be back the same time, the same place, of course, here at Protocol Radio. Adrian, Lisa, and myself signing off. See you then. Ciao. Listening to Protocol Radio by Nikki Romero.